Hello, Hooked on Bassiacs. And today I am gonna show you a secret knot that will not break. Now you cannot use this knot for everything, all right? So for instance, if you're doing a moving bait, like a spinner bait, rattle trap, jerk bait, uh, top water, this is not the knot for this, okay? Where you wanna use this, shaky head, slow presentations like a jig, shaky head. Um, Anything where you're kind of crawling on the bottom, a crawler head from Spot Sticker, I like to use that a lot. Uh, a tube, this is great for a tube. Anything where you're moving along the da uh, along the bottom, crawfish type imitation, worm imitation. All right, you're moving along the bottom and you're gonna snatch and set the hook when you feel the bite. All right, but no moving baits, all right? So four tube, worm, jig, this knot right here. All right, it's kind of like called the fluorocarbon knot. That's really the only knot. Uh, the only name I've heard for it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you with some yarn. I did not love going into Walmart and buying yarn in the grandma section or the crafts section. But check it out. Red and black, Falcons colors all day from the South, Georgia. Gotta stick with the dirty birds, okay? So here's the deal. You're gonna take this. I got a little clip here to show you. You're gonna take it through one side, okay? And then back through the other side, all right? So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a loop and two pieces, all right? Now from here, you're gonna make a loop and you're gonna take this here and just do like an overhand knot. Now the key is you wanna leave enough space on that overhand knot. And now take the loop part that you have here and wrap it around these one. I like to do three times. Two and three. All right, I'm gonna go one more time. No, no, I won't, no. And see at the very top, there's a little loop left. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that loop that we did, the, the, uh, did around and we're gonna pull it through that top loop that we had pinched, okay? And then from there, just pull that, cinch it up a little bit, and then pull the two tag ends and pull it down. Thank you, buddy. All right? And it's gonna cinch all the way up. Boom. Now what you're gonna have here, right? Looks a little bit better with fishing line. What you're gonna have is this loop here, and you're gonna have one more tag end, okay? And obviously you gotta cut, you can't leave that all on there. So we're gonna cut all that off, okay? As you can see, clear that bad boy right there. And we are going to cut. Boom. Dude, this knot right here, when you go to set the hook, it's just super strong. I mean, it's a bigger knot, and that's why I said don't use it on moving baits, because it's gonna, um, eliminate a little bit of the action that you may need for some of these baits, but for a jig, tube, uh, shaky head, worm, sanko, any of that stuff, this bad boy is the way to go. All right, and got it right there. It's a thicker knot, all right, but this bad boy is the way to go. You gotta trust me on this. It does not break, and it's a fluorocarbon knot. So when you're tying fluorocarbon, what I got here? I got eight pound test. All right, you have unexplained breaks sometimes. Now, this isn't the stuff I always use. I use the 100% trilene fluorocarbon in the gold package. I just don't have a lot of unexplained breakage with that. And this knot, I'm telling you, this bad boy never breaks. It never slips through. This is a bad knot right here. It is a secret fluorocarbon knot. That's what we're gonna call it. So listen, I need you to subscribe, like the video, comment. I'll do more knots if you guys like this kind of stuff. Uh, tell me in the comment section below, all right? Hooked on Bass, and check us out on Instagram and give us a follow there also, all right? Thank you, and this is for all the Hooked on Bassiacs out there. I am signing out. Peace out, A-Town, down, bye.